Hey, good afternoon, Jen here. And I was talking to Nancy earlier about how you work intuitively and finding some ways uh, to kind of free yourself a little bit and work a little bit more abstractly in the studio. And then, there, and of course, there's a lot of different ways you could do that. You could abstract from nature. You could just work intuitively on paper. And if you do that enough, eventually some motifs, some recurring things will occur and you can capitalize on those things and use those to make art. So you could invent something that's kind of between nature and your inner self. You could also abstract from a piece of art history. So take a great piece of art and you could go after it three different ways. After looking at a reproduction of that, you're not trying to draw it. Don't get hung up in the drawing. But try abstracting it by doing a linear version, something that emphasizes line in that piece. And then do a drawing where you emphasize shape. So take the shape relationships that you see in that same work of art and do a shape version of it. And then lastly, do um, a version of it that emphasizes space. Okay, so there's a, a few thoughts about that. Now I have some objects here that resemble um, forms that I use a lot in my abstract work. So here's, you, you can work both ends against the middle. So here I am looking for um, the kind of forms that I like out in the real world, right? And then you can do kind of a hybrid that's between them. So I can photo these or I could draw from these and these would help inform my abstract sensibilities. Now, a new idea I've had is just doing tracing. So I have these, these this is a metal object here at Orr Street and I've just traced around it on a piece of paper. I don't know exactly what this is gonna be. It's just an idea, right? So I hope you're working today and I hope that you are trying to be creative in the studio and I hope these ideas help. So I'll talk to you soon, bye.